So today I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't give up if you're not getting sales on Redbubble, why quitting is not the option. I'll also go through some people that were in the same similar situations as you guys. I can't be having any of you guys giving up on me right now. So many people getting the first sales and you can do it too. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. On here, I make print on demand content to both motivate as well as to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your Redbubble shops. And today we've got a big video. Now, I know a lot of people struggle on Redbubble. A lot of people go through that feeling where they feel like quitting. How do I know that? Because I was once in that situation. When I first started Redbubble, I remember in my first week, I was thinking, this is not worth it. This is wasting my time. This won't make me any sort of money and a month later let's just say everything was completely different now everyone's journey on Redbubble is different as I'll go on to talk about in this video. Before we do jump in, I just want to say to anyone that is new on the channel, I have a free print on demand start guide that's linked down in the description. It's also actually now updated for anyone who is subscribed, who wants to see new information. So you can still go over there and download it for free. However, if you're someone that's looking to make this more of a full-time thing, I have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's also linked down in the description. And guys, we're currently on the journey to hitting 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. And if you do happen to get any sort of value from this video at all, a like rating is very much appreciated. Now jumping straight into this Redbubble itself, why is it important? to post on Redbubble. Now for most people that don't know, Redbubble gets very, very good organic search results, which means people can find you a lot easier when you put your designs on Redbubble through Google than on other sites. But yeah, getting me onto my first point, people that aren't having any success you need to firstly make sure you are using Google Analytics only after you've created trend related designs to see what's actually bringing you traffic. Once you have traffic on set designs, you can then create different versions of the designs which will lead to sales. Trust me guys, this is something I've personally done myself. There's a few other things as well that I would recommend that you guys try out. And I feel the best way I can actually go through those bits of information is by jumping over to my updated starter guide and I'm gonna talk you guys through them. Right guys, I'm now on my PC. I'm just gonna be going through some information on my starter guide because before you give up or before you quit with trying to be successful on Redbubble, you need to make sure that you have taken the steps that I mentioned on this. The information on this is completely free. Anyone can download this. The link is down in the description. And yeah, I'm just gonna be going through it with some of the new and updated things I've also added to it for you guys. Now, the start of it just pretty much explains what print on demand is but the meat of the information that you're actually looking for, you find it the more you actually get into the starter guide. Now, for example, here it says how to find winning designs. There's a site that I have linked there, uh, the redbubble.w.ro site, and that helps you to see which trends are doing well on Redbubble. Now, if you're someone who doesn't use that, you need to start to use that to get ideas that could potentially get you sales. Because I've noticed a lot of people just try to think of something and try to create it thinking that it will sell, but that's not how Redbubble works. Like I said at the start of the video, you need to create designs that are searchable. The more searchable they are, the higher chance you will have of actually selling those. Because even on Google, they'll start to get advertised, which will bring you more organic traffic, which obviously then leads to sales. So you want to be using sites like this to find ideas for trending designs. Once again, there is more information on that when you go into the starter guide. The site itself looks like this. I go on to talk a little bit more about it. And that's one method of actually finding trending designs. The newer method that we have is through a site that actually allows you to find red bubble trends. Now on red bubble, most of you guys might have noticed when you go on the search bar and you type in a letter like A for example, as you can see in this example on the screen, you get three options that get brought up with a little arrow on them. Now those three options show the niches that are trending the most for that letter. Now there's a site 
that shows you those top three things for every single letter. Now this site is linked here. It was recommended by someone who's actually in the Facebook group. I'll go on to talk about the Facebook group a little more. But yeah, before I get to that, this site allows you to pretty much see all the things that are trending through Redbubble on one page. So instead of having to go through letter by letter, seeing what the top three things are, you will literally get all that information on one page and once again if you're someone who's not having any success with redbubble you're struggling and you feel like now it's time to give up do not give up till you've tried sites like these they will help you to actually find things that will turn your situation around on the start guide i also talk about the importance of creating variations of different color designs so for example as you can see with the example text there if let's say i was to create that put that on a sticker and then someone bought one sticker that said example i'll then create multiple other colors in this instance i created an orange one and it sold I'll then create a green one and a purple one. Now the importance of creating different variations of designs that do well is that it allows you to up your sales. The faster you up your sales, the faster Redbubble will start to recommend you to more people. And this is something a lot of people don't do. Even the people that are doing quite well, they do not recreate their top selling designs in another color or in another style. Trust me, it works. These are the methods I used when I was starting that allowed me to be successful on sites like Redbubble. Now going through it, I talk about other sites you can use, especially when you're creating designs. I know a lot of you guys can't afford things like Photoshop or just don't want to get anything like Photoshop. So there's free sites you can actually use online to create your designs such as Pixlr. But at the moment, the one that I would say is the top one is Photopea or Photopea. Not too sure how that's pronounced. I've actually made a video on this. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to get a little bit more information on that one and as we go through we also have another app here this is mainly for people that don't have laptops or pcs and can only edit on their phones or create designs on the phones also if you want to be able to create designs on the go let's say you see a trend and you're not at home with your laptop or your pc the over app is also a good app to create designs whilst you're out and about as well so that's another reason as to why i actually threw it in the start guide now a lot of people struggle with finding keywords for tags and things like that i've got those angles covered as well on the starter guide uh, we have the merch titans automation red bubble tag generator link there and that shows you tags that would work together especially for red bubble the only thing with this is the fact that the tags that generate are a lot so you only want to use a section of those tags and uh, next to that we also have this redbubble keyword extractor and that allows you to find popular tags or keywords for a specific niche or specific word before i actually go from this i'm going to open uh, the red bubble tag generator just to show you guys what that looks like and then i'll also open the extractor okay right, so when you're actually registering for your free account for merge titans make sure that you actually use a valid email address otherwise you will actually face problems with trying to use the site and once you use your email look out for an email they'll send you after and actually verify that it's your email and then you can actually start to use the tag generator free of charge now as an example i'm just going to put dog as a keyword and then we're going to search on the tags and i'm just going to show an example of the kind of keywords it would bring up that you can then use if you was making a dog related design when the tags come out it looks something like this and uh, you can literally just format and copy tags and then use them for your own designs. And I would recommend you using between 10 to 15 tags in regards to the tags that you take from here. The next website is Redbubble Keyword Extractor. And this is what it looks like. Once you're here, you just have a look through the sites to see if there's any keywords that are related to your niche. Once you do that, you click on one of the keywords just like that. And it'll show you a spreadsheet with a variation of tags for different things that could be related to that particular niche and it's very very useful when you're looking for tags 
keywords and it's something that I'd recommend and once again if you're using these tags try to use between 10 to 15 tags from these websites. Back to the starter guide when you actually get to the bottom it shows you some examples of sales that I got on different sites when I was first actually starting I think this was in my first couple of months where I made 701 pounds that was on Redbubble on Public. I actually had one sticker where one person purchased 50 of them in one sale which is insane for me and yeah there's a lot of useful information here there's some links to obviously this channel that you're watching the video on links to my Redbubble playlist that will make life a lot easier for those that are struggling and then finally a link to the Facebook group which shows some sales people have actually gotten talking about the Facebook group on the screen you should be able to see my search for people that have actually commented or posted about their first sales on the group and I just wanted to come here to show you an example of how many people are here getting sales and to see if I can read some of their stories in case it might help out some of you guys. So the guy right at the top, uh, Miha, put OMG, I made my first sale finally. It took me 29 days. I made 22 cents, but I'm still very happy. Hope you all get your first sale. Good luck to all. Now, hey, you didn't make a crazy amount, but I just want you guys to see that it took him 29 days to get to a point where he could get his first sale. Now it's different for everyone, but for those that are waiting a week, two weeks, and then getting disheartened, do not give up because your first sale will come, but it doesn't always come as quick as you think. I'm gonna quickly go through some of these. As I scroll, you can see there's a lot of posts where people have gotten their first sales. It's mixture between Redbubble, as you can see there, got T Public, as you can see there, this is actually my friend who got his first sale on T Public. I've got another post here. This was from August the 6th. Uh, this person put, hey guys, I made my first sale after one month and a half, but not one of the trending items. It was quite a simple design. Everyone has their own timing and journey. Thanks to Phil, keeps boosting us. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate the kind words there. And yeah, this person just continued to talk about the story a bit more. But once again, it took them a month and a half to get the first sale, which happened to also be on a t-shirt. I don't want anyone to be out there giving up too early because the sales will come. You just need to do your best to stay consistent with creating your designs. Do your best to work smart. My Redbubble playlist is there to allow you all to work smart. So go through the videos, apply the information to your stores and trust me, the sales will come. And this is just proof that so many people that were in the same position as you, if you're someone who's struggling to get a sale, have done it. And if all of these people can do it, I'm still scrolling guys, I've not stopped. If all of these people can do it, why can't you? So I need you guys to all know that it's possible to get your first sales. This amount of people actually doing well from the information that I give in my videos or in my starter guide can't be wrong. I really want you guys to know that this is something that's doable. If you wanna be around other people that are on Redbubble, that are starting out, that are starting to be successful, the link to this Facebook group is down in the description for anyone who wants to join. It's completely free to join it. And once again, guys, just, just look at all these people. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. So many people getting the first sales and you can do it too. But yeah, anyone can start from zero. Check out the playlist like I mentioned. Download the starter guide. And if you want to be around other people like you, other sellers, join the Facebook group. It's completely free to join. Don't give up, guys. We can all be successful on Redbubble. If you have no sales, you can do it. If you're getting one sale a month, you can do it. If you've made it to this point of the video, down in the comment section, comment never give up. I want to see how many of you guys comment that and I'm gonna to try to respond to as many people as I can. Always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success.